Hi, everyone. It has been amazing to hear what everyone's working on. I'm learning a lot from uh, all these projects as well. And I'm here to give you a little bit of spicy history about the Meta Cartel, um, what we've been doing in the ecosystem of Ethereum for about seven years now, and um, what we're moving towards now as a global node in this remote state network. So um, back in 2018, the DAO was formed by going direct to community. This is a photo of all of us at um, one of the earlier meetups in Prague, uh, back in the status days, uh, just before DevCon. We went from community creation to capital formation um, super fast. Um, we started uh, with the people first, bringing all the people together, having conversations and discussions, um, doing meetups. Uh, went into a meta transaction research group, quickly evolved into a grant giving organization, realizing that people need funds in this ecosystem to be building dApps and experiments. Um, some of those projects went on to become super successful companies raising funds all across the ecosystem and providing things for DeFi, governance, all kinds of stuff. Um, a really high bar for entry, it was 10 ETH per member. So over the last like four or five years, we've accumulated 140 members under that spectrum. And the current value of grants that we've given away is a million and a half dollars. And these are all no strings attached grants uh, that go to people who are building and creating and experimenting inside of Ethereum. It's all about the grants that we do. We spent a lot of time uh, working with folks, doing mentorship. Um, our grants portal is open right now at metacartel.org, and that is how I got started in this ecosystem, is helping people who are applying for grants find their way through the process, um, get their wallets logged in, get their funds transferred, and um, get these funds out to people in the ecosystem. Um, a little history about uh, Moloch, Moloch Dao. You may have heard of Moloch, the god that you have to sacrifice your babies to. Uh, so we, we doubled down on that meme. Um, Moloch, the original Dao that was helping to fund Layer 2 Ethereum research, started by Amin Soleimani. Um, my good friend Peter Pan was rejected from Moloch Dao. So he said, I'm going to fork it. And he created Meta Cartel. So the first founder of this Dao created Meta Cartel. Um, we, the Moloch DAO framework has the rage quit feature, which allows anyone to leave the DAO at any point with their proportional ownership. So if you don't like a vote, even during grace period, you can exit the DAO. Now, uh, DAO House is the framework that we created that allows anyone to create uh, their own DAO today, it secures $100 million in community treasuries. Memes. Um, our community is driven on memes. So. We, the Spicy Chili Man has been our, um, our, our mascot for a long, long time. Uh, he went on and he's lived all over the place from shirts, socks, hats. Um, but it's a mimetic filter for community members, people who are aligned with this kind of don't take yourselves too seriously. We're all like, you know, having a laugh here, but we're creating cool stuff and experimenting as well. So the current phase of what we're doing, gutting the chili. Not everything lives forever. DAOs are meant to die as well. So currently gutting the chili looks like spreading uh, funds out to smaller groups, we call them sub-DAOs, that have um, their own little um, theme or thesis for what they want to be funding. So we give funds to a group of five to 10 people and they go and spread it across the ecosystem. New novel projects, um, funding the next generation of builders. Um, that's where the events came in. For me personally, uh, I don't have a computer science background. I have a hospitality background. I love people. I love food. I love gatherings, things like this. Um, so we started running MCON, which is our own DAO conference hosted in Denver for two years. We did one in 2021 and one in 2022. 350 people at start, 800 people at the next. And MCON 3, who knows? Um, we haven't decided when we're going to do it or what, what, where it will be hosted. Um, but when the community calls, we'll come at answering. Uh, the whole goal was to get people together, to get them out of their heads a little bit and in more of a fun and collaborative environment. So we hosted the last one in a, a high school building, took over the whole high school, and did workshops and classes, and then dodgeball on the lawn. Um, we've run uh, meetups and events all around the world. Um, there's even more, more than this. Uh, these are my early slides. Um, but one place that I've enjoyed spending time and doing meetups 
is in Costa Rica. We have been going down to Costa Rica for three years running now, and we decided after the last MCON, where we were all so stressed out and so tired from having conversations and discussions and networking, that like, what if we could just get like 50 or 60 of our best friends together and go somewhere and take over a space and have cool conversations, do some excursions, eat good food, and have conversations about what the future of this movement looks like. So that brought us to Costa Rica. Um, Costa Rica is all about vibes, it's about connections, um, it is <clears throat> a self-selected group of people who are willing to spend eight to ten days in a tropical environment and co-house, uh, co-work, and co-organize. It's completely unconference. So you show up and we organize uh, what you want to do and the conversations you want to be having together. What, it, what came from MetaCamp is MetaCampus. We've been renting event centers and retreat centers for three years now for these events. And we decided, we thought more, what if we could have our own space built from the ground up? Um, how would that better benefit the members and the experiences that they're having there? So this idea was floated at the last MetaCampus, and or at the last MetaCamp event, and basically I've been running with the support of our, uh, our core team, searches for land, ideas, inspirations for how we could develop this center and make it something that really enhances people's experience when they come down and spend time with us. We're all about the deeper connections, forging cohesion, um, and aligning a really curated community of people to do more together. So where are we now? We're building Metacampus. We bought five acres in Costa Rica on uh, the Pacific coast in Playa Negra. It's a beautiful um, insular community uh, that doesn't even have a road to it, so we like it. Um, it's, it's, it's not too hard to get to, 90 minutes from the airport, and a quick and easy flight from most major hubs. Uh, we have really ambitious plans for what we want the community to, to be and to look like, but we're trying to keep it small. We're not thinking about scaling all over the world or having properties everywhere. We want to do this property well from the beginning. Um, we've got support and we've got um, input and say from the community, so we're really trying to develop in the open and adhere to what the desires of the community is. And that's over 150 people who have come to our events throughout the past few years and then a, uh, the segment of those who are actually putting capital into this. So all this money has been raised from the community, and we've just been soliciting ideas and feedback. Um, we believe that this is a central node in the movement uh, towards a network state, and we were super excited and happy to like, be sharing this information with others and like, collaborating with other projects that we're meeting on, on this journey. Um, just want to double down on Costa Rica specifically. If you haven't been, it is beautiful. Um, we think it's a super stable place, um, politically and also climate-wise. Uh, being near the beach is really good for people's health and well-being. We're not at the water, which is ideal for us with uh, climate change situations, but there's a bunch of benefits for why you'd choose Costa Rica. Um, and coming down there, we have had some of the most amazing transformative experiences um, in relation to the locals, in relation to learning and sharing with folks who have been down there and building either eco-resorts or retreats for the past 20 years. And we found all the resources that we need to be able to grow this, uh, this project and scale sustainably um, with the desires and the intentions of our community. So you can see this little graph here. It's got all of the kind of like key points um, that people are most interested in in our community. And it's, 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 it's various uh, because this is not just about the tech, it's not just about the people, it's about all the interests, bringing the full human to the picture. We find that a lot of the traditional conferences, they want to focus on the tech, um, on what's being built, and they want to go you know, very much into the details. We want to bring the human into the picture. What are, you, what are you about? What are you excited about? What do you want to build? And how can we help you and align you with other creators who are on board with, with what you want to build as well? So that's a little bit about where we're at today and where we've come from in the past. Metacampus is really um, about culture first. Uh, and community over everything. That's it. Um, my name is Yaler. If you're interested in learning more about Metacamp or Metacampus, hit me up after this.